It's story time. On the count of three, let's say the story bag poem and see what's inside. One, two, three. Story bag, story bag, what have you to say? Story bag, story bag, what's in you today? We have a big frog. This is an Australian Aboriginal myth called Tiddalik the Thirsty Frog. Story ears open, story mouths quiet, story buckles buckled, and let us begin. Once upon a time, long ago in dream time, when the world was new, there lived a giant frog named Tiddalik. Tiddalik was a moody frog who only thought about himself. One day, Tiddalik woke up and was in a very grouchy mood. He was hot and thirsty and very grumpy. He hopped down to the water hole for a drink and saw his brother. Good morning, brother Tiddalik, he said cheerfully. Tiddalik was so grumpy, he just croaked in reply. It's really dry today, continued his brother. I feel like I could drink all the water in the world. Tiddalik was in such a bad mood, he decided to do just that. He started by drinking all the water in the water hole. Then he drank all the water in the ponds. Then he drank all the water in the lakes, then the billabongs, then the rivers, until he had drunk all the water in the whole world. Tiddalik was so fat that he could barely move. He lay down on a warm rock and went to sleep. The land was now bone dry. There was no water left anywhere. The plants withered and turned brown and the animals were very thirsty. The animals held a meeting to figure out what to do. We must ask Tiddalik to give us back the water, said the kangaroo. The other animals agreed and they hurried to where the giant frog lay sleeping. The koala said, Tiddalik, we are all thirsty. Would you please give us some water? Tiddalik opened one eye and said, No. The animals held another meeting to figure out how to get the water out of Tiddalik. The wise old wombat said, If we could make Tiddalik laugh, the water would pour out of his open mouth. The animals thought that this was a wonderful idea, and they hurried back to the giant frog to try to make him laugh. The emu told jokes. The dingo told funny stories. The bandicoot made funny faces, and the platypus walked funny walks. They tried their best to make him laugh, but the big frog did not even crack a smile. Finally, Nabunum the eel said, I'll make him laugh with my funny dance. Eels swim very gracefully in the water, but on the dry land they look very funny indeed. Nabunum started off by wiggling in the sand on his belly. The animals started to giggle. Nabunum stood on his tail and shimmered and shook. The animals started to laugh. Nabunum spun like a top, then he twisted himself like a corkscrew and bounced up and down like a spring. Nabunum jumped onto the giant frog's belly and did his funniest move of all. He twisted himself into a knot. Help, he cried, I cannot untie myself. Everyone was laughing so hard they didn't notice Tiddalink's smile. But Nabunum saw him and he tied himself into a double knot. He looked so funny that Tiddalink could no longer hold back his laughter. Tiddalink opened his mouth wide and laughed a deep belly laugh. The water shot out of his mouth like a fountain. Every last drop of water spilled out of the giant frog, filling up the lakes and the ponds, the billabongs and the rivers. The animals drank long and deep, and all the land turned green again. From that day on, when little frogs, who are the descendants of Tiddalik, fill themselves full of water and crawl under the ground for a long sleep, all the people of Australia know that a drought is near. And there be my story, be it bitter or sweet, 
Take what you like, but leave enough for me to eat.